What's up guys, I'm Chris. Welcome back to Watch Chris. If you are not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel, hitting that bell icon, and of course, liking this video if you find it useful. I very much appreciate it. So today we're taking a look at a Seiko. It's a speed timer. It's their solar speed timers. However, I have two different versions to show you guys. I actually have three watches in total. Two of them are the 41 millimeter versions. And then I have a green dial with a 39 millimeter case. However, there are some significant differences between the two watch sizes. And we'll go through some of the details that are different between these two watches. So today I have three different versions to show you guys. I have the red dial, the green dial, and the blue dial. The blue and red are in 41 millimeters. That green in the middle is 39 millimeters. There's some differences between the cases and everything really on these watches. So I'll go through the differences between the 39 and the 41 millimeters in just a few minutes. There's also a price difference between the three as well. Actually, two of them are priced the same. One is priced different. We'll get back to the price in just a few minutes. Three speed timers. One is in red. That red one is the SSC 927. The green dial, which is the 39 millimeter version, is the SSC 933. And then the blue dial in 41 millimeters, that's the SSC 931. All three of them have sunburst dials, and all three of them get these sort of clear black sub registers. And that's the solar portion of this equation. So these are solar chronographs and you're getting a V192 movement inside. That's for all three of them. That means that you get a six month power reserve when it is fully charged. So you could wear this, fully charge it, and then put it down and six months later, it still will be telling the correct time, which is pretty cool when you think about it. That's really the benefits of a solar powered watch. They're reliable, they can be powered by any light source, which is excellent, and of course, they're accurate. So those three things right there is everything that you're looking for within a watch. Now, there are two different sizes that we have here on the table and at two different price points. So these two right here, the 41 millimeters, these are at $700. This one is actually on sale right now, the green dial in 39 millimeters for $495, which is a really good price for this watch. There are differences between these watches. So I'm gonna show you the red dial and the green dial very quickly together. Uh, they have the same bracelet, so it's an oyster style bracelet. You have basically the same clasp. Uh, the clasp is just a press clasp from uh, Seiko, but you do have a milled scissor on that. But you can see physically, the 39 millimeter does look smaller. It looks about two millimeters smaller than the 41 millimeter, I would say. And the green dial is essentially the same as what you get in the red dial. Uh, the layout is almost the same. The indices are a little bit smaller on the 39 millimeter, which kind of makes sense. You have a slightly domed sapphire crystal that is raised off of the bezel. The bezel is probably one of the biggest differences besides the case, of course, between these two watches. You have a sort of sloped bezel, it's sort of stepped as well. You have a tachometer on here. This has an insert and a metal surround. So almost similar to a Daytona looking bezel. This looks a little bit different. It's a painted bezel. I don't believe it's ceramic. If I'm wrong, I'll put that in the description. But uh, if I am wrong, definitely add a comment down below. Uh, you get 100 meters of water resistance between the two. So both of these do get 100 meters of water resistance, depending on the light. It looks like those sub registers are a little purple, a little gray, or black, depending on how you actually reflect the light. So uh, they're very similar in that manner as well. The pushers are very similar. The crowns are very similar. Both crowns have a little circular pattern on them. Uh, and then the cases, the cases are different. So these cases on the 39 millimeters, they have a little bit of a different lug structure and I'll do a close up picture so you can see what I'm talking about. But when I put them side by side, sort of have a straight end on this one and this one has a curved end link. Uh, the end links are solid. You have a solid bracelet and there are push pins uh, in the bracelet. They're an oyster style bracelet, sort of like a curved oyster style bracelet, which looks great. I think these look great and really give you a vintage look, but a modern look at the same time. A lot of people compare them to a Daytona, uh, which makes a lot of sense because 
They have the layout of a Daytona. They sort of copied that. And then of course you have uh, the bezel with the tachometer in black. Again, kind of Daytona-esque, I get it. Uh, you have fence post hands on the 39 millimeter while you have, uh, I guess they're sort of stick slash fence post hands on the uh, 41 millimeter version. Both get Luma bright, so uh, we'll take a look at that in a few seconds. I'm gonna bring over the blue just for a second. You can see the blue gets a red second hand, which is a little bit different from the red version, which gets a white second hand. The 39 millimeter actually looks a little bit better on my wrist. I'll show you that in just a few seconds. I have a seven and a half inch wrist. And for $495, that's a really good price for this watch. You do not get a screwing crown. Uh, however, like I said before, you do get 100 meters of water resistance, solid case back, obviously, because this is a solar watch and 100 meters of water resistance, but it is a screwed in case back. Measurements on the 39 millimeter, it is basically 39 millimeters at that case, it's like 39.4 millimeters. At the bezel, it's a little bit smaller, but not incredibly smaller. It's around 38 and a half or something like that. The crown is around 6.8 millimeters. The lug to lug is 45.5 millimeters at the case. At the bracelet, it's around 49.3 millimeters and you get a 13 millimeter thickness. The 41 millimeter version is basically 41 millimeters at that bezel end case. So it's 41.2 millimeters is what I measured. 13 millimeters thick, so the same as the 39 millimeter. 45.7 millimeters lug span. So that means it does wear a little bit compact, even though it is larger than the 39 millimeter. It's almost the same lug span. And then at the bracelet, because you do get uh, a, a male end link on here, it's around 49.4 millimeters. So just again, slightly larger than the 39 millimeter version. The crown, exactly the same at 6.8 millimeters. Today on my wrist, I have a monster of a watch that I bought last year. I absolutely love this watch though. It's one of my favorite watches in my collection. I always want to wear it. I wore this on New Year's Eve. Uh, it is my IWC Perpetual Calendar flyback chronograph with digital display. Tons going on here, big watch in 45 millimeters, grade five titanium with ceramic, but it's just a crazy watch that I love. These are not sized for my seven and a half inch wrist. However, this is the burgundy version in 41 millimeters. Again, this is around 41 millimeters, 41.2 millimeters, 13 millimeters thick, just over 45 millimeters if you're measuring the lug to lug off of the bracelet, on the bracelet with the male end links, it's around 49 and change, so 49 and a half almost. And here's the blue. I think the blue is my favorite dial out of the bunch. This is also in 41 millimeters, so uh, I think it looks great. The sunburst dial with those black sub registers, it looks very, very good. I like the white combination with the red. There's a lot going on, but I think it's a good looking watch. But probably my favorite out of the trio is this. So it's around 39.4 millimeters is what I measured and it's 13 millimeters thick. You have a 45.5 millimeter lug span or lug to lug, excuse me. And then it's a little bit bigger on the bracelets around 49 millimeters. That's because you have male end links. But I think this looks great on my seven and a half inch wrist. So if you're a loom junkie, you're definitely going to go for the 41 millimeter versions because there is a lot more loom on the 41 millimeter versions. All of the indices are loomed. While on the 39 millimeter, only the primary indices get loom, which is unfortunate. And it's really not a lot of surface area of loom. The hands are equally applied across all three, except for the chronograph hand on the 39 millimeter, which does get a little bit of loom because there's a little arrow on that uh, second hand, which looks great. Unfortunately, they didn't loom all of the indices. I would have liked to see that. Other than that, I think these are great watches at a very good price. Like I said, the 41 millimeter versions they have for $700 right now. And then of course that 39 millimeter version on sale for $495, which is a great price. Tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. What do you think of these three watches? Which one would you choose? Would you go with the 41 millimeter version or the 39 millimeter version? Do you want loom or do you care about the size of the watch? Tell me what you think down in the comments below. Please also don't forget to check out exquisitetimepieces.com. If you're interested in any of these watches or really any watch, they're an authorized dealer for a bunch of different brands. Uh, they have a brick and mortar store down in Naples, Florida. Definitely check them out. Tell them that Watch Chris sent you. I will put a link and an email address in the description 
If you want to reach out to them directly, uh, I will put Ethan's email down there. Definitely reach out to him and tell him Watch Chris sent you. Anyway, guys, thank you for logging on. Thank you for checking out these watches. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. It's super helpful for the channel and I very much appreciate it. Anyway, guys, thank you for logging on. I'll catch you guys in the next video.